It's only the night after the trial. My execution had been set for tomorrow. I felt very unhappy that I had to die without a goodbye first. So I decided to write a letter to my sister-in-law, Madame Elizabeth. I asked my jailers, please bring me the only thing I want. Pen, paper, and ink. They sent me it to write away. I immediately started writing. I sat at my table, diligent and determined. Dear Madame Elizabeth, my good and loving sister, always remember me, no matter what happens to us. I send you my fondest love and send it as well to my poor dear children. My God, it is agony to leave them. God bless us. Goodbye. Goodbye. I was sad of leaving everyone behind, but complicated lives never end happily. Tonight was the last night I was to live. I sighed deeply. Then I ordered the letter be sent. A god vowed to deliver it. I hoped Madame Elizabeth would not weep. Tired and sorrowful, I cried myself to sleep. Well, today was my execution. I kept freaking out and imagining my head being chopped off. I hoped that luck would soon get to me before it was too late. I said my prayers and prayed that it would just be a dream I had many years ago and I would wake up on my bed and find mama telling me that everything was going to be alright. But no such luck. Pretty soon the guards arrived at my prison. Hair out, he said. I removed my bonnet and waited as he cut my hair short. Then I put the bonnet back on. Hands behind your back, sit it in this. The guard growled. I followed directions. Using a rope, he tied my hands tight behind my back. He gestured for me to follow him and I obeyed. He walked me out of the prison and onto a horse-drawn cart. The cart reeked of manure and I was forced to step onto it. Gross! I remained a calm and steady person who died a lady and a queen, not a prisoner. The cart led me through shouting crowds and finally to a square with a guillotine. The place was packed with people awaiting my death. I took a deep breath. As I stepped up to the scaffold, I guess I was so nervous that I accidentally stepped on the executioner's foot. I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to do that. I apologized. Courage, madame, he replied. I leaned over the base of the guillotine as the executioner locked me into it. I bid goodbye to the world forever. What happened next was like a blink of an eye. One moment it's there, and after you blink, your world is gone. I closed my eyes. I expected a shot of pain right away, but it didn't happen. Waiting was agony. Finally, the blade fell down. Before I could scream, I found my voice lost and nothing happened. The blade crushed my hopes and my dreams, leaving my life to a bitter end.